How's it going everyone? Weston here with Go Westy, and today we're going to do a walkthrough on the LPG Tank Delete Kit. Part number GW-LPG-Tank-B-Gone-Kit. We begin by removing the tank's skid plate. With the skid plate out of the way, we close the tank's valve and uninstall the LP regulator. We use a jack to support the tank and uninstall this line that's obscuring the bolt path. With the line out of the way, we uninstall this hardware. The inboard side of the tank's bolts are blocked by these AC line brackets. With the lines out of the way, we now have access to this hardware and we finish uninstalling the propane tank. We lower our jack and remove the tank from the vehicle. Next we go over to a bench and uninstall the T-fitting from the propane tank's regulator. If you wish to eliminate a potential leak point, this nipple can be uninstalled. To uninstall this nipple, I like to insert a socket into it. This will keep the nipple from crushing when you put it in the vise. However, if you are unsuccessful in uninstalling this nipple, you may need to replace the whole T-fitting as the threads will become damaged. If you opt not to go this route, simply clean the threads on the nipple and install the provided coupler. When installing anything on this type of fitting, it's recommended that you use some form of Teflon tape or liquid Teflon. Take the short hose and install the provided male quick connect fitting to it. Then take the other end of the hose and install it onto the T fitting. We take the long hose and install the provided plug onto it. We then put some Teflon tape on the threads and install the female portion of the quick connect fitting onto the hose. The other end of the long hose will go onto the regulator. The other end of the LPG regulator has a flare fitting. These threads will not get any type of sealant whatsoever, but we need to make sure that they are clean. We then install the regulator onto our propane tank. With all the fittings properly installed with Teflon tape into the proper torque, we then open the propane valve, take some soapy water and check for leaks at all the connection points. You'll know that there's a leak if you see some of these small bubbles beginning to form. If you see these, you'll either need to reapply Teflon tape or tighten these fittings a little bit more. Repeat this process until there are no more leaks. We then move to the underside of the vehicle and reinstall the lines to the T-fitting. We take the provided Adele clamp and install it to the body of the vehicle, being sure to place it as high as possible. Check that all these connections are properly torqued. Then install the elephant bracket. We need to make sure that the elephant bracket sits lower than the T-fitting. We take the provided self-tapping screws and install the elephant bracket. We then reinstall any of the components we uninstalled, such as these AC line brackets.
Lastly, we hook the two quick connects up to one another and open the propane tank. We then check all the connections on the vehicle and verify there are no leaks. Thanks for following along and we'll catch you on the next one.